What's up, you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name's Lloyd. I had an email recently from this guy, um, and he basically writes, it's kind of a sad email, <laughs> and he says, Lloyd, I have had no luck with women in my life whatsoever. I have no friends. I've been depressed for a long time. I feel unmotivated. Every time I've tried to make an effort in the past with women or with people, I felt rejected. I feel unmotivated and I don't know what to do. Please help. All right. <laughs> the funny thing about this email that I got is that I probably could have written it about a decade ago um, because I was in the exact same position, man. I have a lot of I have a lot of empathy for people that are in this position because that's how I felt, you know. I remember being in a single and you know in college, and I really didn't have a whole lot of options. I didn't have friends. I was I was alone. I was depressed. I think I took three I took three tests, three psychological tests um, at that time, and pretty much all of them told me I was at risk for suicide, and two of them told me to seek professional medical attention immediately. Actually, <laughs> uh, I remember this. So uh, I definitely know how to help this guy out. Uh, I def if you're a person watching this who feels completely lost and you don't know where to start or be successful with women, you're talking to the right guy. Because uh, I've been to that spot, man. I've been in areas where you just you feel like you're never going to get out, where you feel like there's no end. Um, and so I can definitely help this, this guy out. Um, so I'm gonna get into my story. Before I do, uh, I just wanted to say that I have uh, a couple spots opening up in my coaching program, and if you're a guy who's watching this video who's in this position, if you're a motivated dude, I'm just looking for motivated people uh, who are willing to join. So I have three, well actually two, <laughs> one of them got taken already. Um, I have two spots open, so if you're a guy who's really motivated, um, who wants to get this started, text me the words ACTION, you can send it to my email, the single guy 2017 at gmail.com. Cool. So uh, now that I'm done with that blurb, I want to get into the story. And the story is basically this, where I was exactly like this guy. You know, I, I was in an area, I was, remember I was in college. I took those tests, and then afterwards I had this girl dump me. She, uh, you know, I'd been friend zoned by her the whole year. She finally agreed to go out with me. And then the day after we went out, she just like said, hey, um, I don't think this is working out, and then she ghosted me. I later found out she got back together with her ex-boyfriend. So that was a really shitty time in Lloydsville. So what did I do to get out of it? Well, the first thing I did was I remember being so, like, walking around my campus, there was tons of gorgeous women all the time, and I just remember feeling rejected by all of them because every time I tried to make an effort, they weren't interested. or They were interested in the bigger, more handsome guy that was, like, um, you know, standing next to me. It sucked, dude. It sucked being in that position all the time. So um, what I did was, and this is what you guys should, all of you should start doing this, um, stop following thoughts on Instagram. I remember I was, you know, at the time Instagram didn't exist, um, but you could find chicks online that were hot. So I just decided I wasn't going to look at any of that sort of stuff. In fact, I stopped going on social media at all. Uh, Facebook was very popular at that time. I don't think, I think I deleted my Facebook or I, um, I think you can put it on like suspended or, or whatever. Uh, I just didn't go on anymore. And those two things put me a step in the right direction. Uh, because a lot of times what you'll do is you'll go on your computer, you'll go on this or that or the other thing, uh, and you'll look at something, and it'll be something that you want, and because you don't have it, now you start to feel sad, and you start to feel unmotivated, and you don't want to do it. So uh, that'd be the first thing that I would say you should do. The second thing that I would say you should do is write down a game plan. Whatever you want to do, write down what you want to do and go after it. Like, it doesn't matter. Just come up with a plan. You don't have to think it's going to work. Just do, like, have something there, a plan that you think might make you, push you in that right direction, okay? Come up with a plan that has actionable things that you can do. And then the third thing that I'm going to say is when you come up with this plan, stop tying yourself to a certain identity, Okay? My identity at this point, this is getting very personal, was I always thought there was something wrong with me. In high school I felt this, in middle school I felt this, even, I remember even feeling this in elementary school. I remember feeling there was something wrong with me. The kids just didn't want to eat lunch with me. People didn't want uh, to be my friend. Like there's, there's something that people just didn't like. And I had a lot of explanations for it. I thought my face looked too angry, whatever it was. But whatever the reason, it didn't matter. The fact is I was holding on to this horrible, shitty identity for too long. 
chances are you have an identity that you're holding on to, whether you're depressed, whether you're, you feel like there's something wrong with you, like me, um, whether you feel like, oh, I'm just like, you know, uh, I have ADHD or, or, or whatever it is, you know, something that you're holding on to, like an identity that's preventing you from, and I'm not saying ADHD doesn't exist, I'm just saying it's an identity that people hold on to that explains why they can't do something, okay? Whatever your identity is, if you're watching this video, unless there's something seriously wrong with you, like you're completely disfigured or whatever, you can be successful with women. Stop holding on to that identity. Okay, so now that you've stopped watching uh, thoughts on Instagram, you're not using social media as much, you came up with a game plan, you've let go of your identity, well, maybe not totally let go of your identity, um, but you've, you've said, okay, I'm not gonna let this hold me back. Once you started doing this, start taking action. Start trying things. Try anything, dude. I remember there was this one scene in uh, in House of Cards. Um, it, it's that show on Netflix, and I think it was the second or third season. And he's president. I think he's president at this point, and no one in the country likes him. All of the house doesn't like him. All of his advisors think that his plans are going to fail, and he wants to pass this bill. And he knows it's very unlikely that it's going to happen. So he goes into the meeting room. And he says, look, I know this bill is not a good bill. I know it's probably going to fail. I know we don't have support in any of the houses, but the least we could do is to fucking try. And that's my favorite scene, probably maybe in television, when he just said, we should at least fucking try, because that's how I felt at that point. At least if I did something, anything, I would feel a little better about myself. I would, I could at least look myself in the mirror and said that I did something about it. And whatever it is, whatever game plan you came up with, let's say you want to, you know, get a girlfriend or you want to have, you know, have some girls hook up with some girls, come up with a game plan to find that and try it. Try something. The truth is, is when I came up with this game plan, the stuff that I did for the subsequent years, a lot of it didn't work. A lot of it didn't work. And I don't think I started actually being on the road to success seriously until I was like 22, 23. And so obviously that's a huge gap. But here's the thing, dude. I was getting a little bit better than I was last year. And those little wins I focused on. So that's the next part is focus on small wins. Dude, if you've got a girl to smile at you, freaking great. That's awesome. Don't focus on the negative part. Ah, oh, she wasn't that cute. Or, ah, oh, you know, like a hotter girl smelled at somebody else. Again, stop comparing yourself to other people. Focus on the small wins. Write them down. If you were better than you were last year, if you were better than you were yesterday, you can be better than you are tomorrow. It's very simple. So I focus on the small wins, and so that's what kept me going. Because if I just said, oh, I'm worse than what I was, and sometimes I felt like that, but in the end... Um, I reflected on it and I seriously thought about it and I was like, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm doing better than what I was. Okay. I can actually walk up and talk to people. Um, I can actually get a girl to smile at me sometimes, whatever it is. So then after that, the last part of this is when you celebrate small wins, stop thinking a million steps into the future. Stop thinking like the reason why you feel unmotivated and the reason why you feel like there's no hope is because you are thinking about, oh, how do I get a hot girl to be my girlfriend, have sex with me, whatever it is. You're thinking that far into the future. That's not what you should be thinking about. You should be thinking, hey, can I get a girl to smile at me? Hey, can I have a conversation with a girl? Those are small wins right there. If you can get those, you're on the path towards success. Then eventually you start getting phone numbers. Then eventually, if your phone numbers, you start getting dates. Then after you start getting dates, then you start getting some of these girls to come home with you. Then after you start getting some of these girls to come home with you, they start having sex with you. Then after they start having sex with you, then you're able to keep them for longer and then are able to get a freaking awesome girlfriend or whatever it is you want to do. Maybe you want to keep being a hoe like me. Then you keep doing that. So that is how you get onto the path to success. And that's exactly what happened to me. It took me a lot longer than I wanted it to. It took me freaking, oh my God, like maybe seven years of going out five nights a week or something like that for me to actually start to feel like I was good at something. I don't want it to take that long for you guys. I want it to take, you know, a lot shorter. That's why I'm making all these videos. That's why I have the program that I have is to get guys who are motivated, who are in that position up to that level. So if you are interested in that, again, shoot me an email, the single guy 2017 at gmail.com. That's my story, man. Um, I don't really have anything else to say about it. Uh, I've talked about this before when I talked about my depression. I'll probably talk about uh, this in different um, in different videos and 
I'll share different parts with you. So hopefully you got something out of this, man. Be on the path of success. That's it. Start every, every, all beginnings are small. Every single one, every single guy that I've ever known that has gotten good with women, there was a time where he sucked. There was a time where he was fumbling over his words and he didn't know what to say. I don't care if they grew up when their family was all getting late. I don't care if they've been late since they were 15. There was a time where he didn't know what to say. There was a time where he felt like he wasn't good. There are times where he felt like, you know, he wasn't that attractive guy, but he made it through. Every single guy goes through this. And if you're man enough, you can go through it too and be successful. Thanks a lot. Good luck out there, you guys.